It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got another tour to show you. This time it's by Hoff Brew House Carlton Hoosen and it's the Gandalf IPA coming in at 7.9% ABV. So a double IPA from Austria. So this comes in this lovely top. It goes in my Krups, the subcompact. We're going to show you how to load it. So first of all, the obvious one, crack the back. Get rid of some of this plastic. Right. Lid comes off. This is the important bit. It's the third time I've done this now. I feel like I'm starting to sound like a little bit like a, a, a scratch record, but you may not have seen the previous video, so I'm going to show you again. I'm really impressed by my system. I've had this crap system. I bought it for Christmas as a Christmas present to myself. Uh, and I've been really, really happy with this. I've been buying some tops from beerwolf.com. And what I really like about the system is, is that there's a lot of thought gone into it. This is a line that goes into the top. When you finish with the top, it gets recycled. So all of the beer that goes through the line after a few days, might get a bit yeasty and whatnot. Well, not a few days. I think it can. It'll last about three weeks, actually. Uh, once you've once you've opened the top, as long as you keep it in the machine. But you know what I mean. Um, no, this machine is by no means going to get infected. It, it, it's, it's almost impossible for the machine to get a, a, a beer infection, a yeast infection with the beer. Shall I show you? Ooh, there's a little bit of beer there or something in the... Can you see that? So this goes in the end. Like so. It's quite a hard push. Get it in. Now it's time to move the camera. I'm just going to commando it. I'm not going to edit or I'm just going to throw the camera over there like that. That should... Is that going to do it? Maybe over a bit more, lift it up a bit. There we go. So you open your machine. You lift this off the tap. Grab your top, put it into the back first. Line it in. Push it down. There you go, grab all the align, fix it into position, give it a bit of a push, put the tap back on, and honestly, it's as easy as that. Now, I've got a red light on here, this beer is a double IPA, I'm not really concerned that much that it's gone down to 4 degrees, because I like my IPAs a little bit warmer and the reason I like my IPAs a little bit warmer is I want more flavour from them. So let's pour a beer. Oh, first of all, wet the glass. Get some water in your glass. Wet the glass. Apparently it makes for a nice pour. There we go, right. Over we go. Job done, that'll do. Voila. Now, I've read some forums on this. I've So far, I've had some Heineken. I had four tops of Heineken. After a, few, after a couple of pints, it starts pouring. For me, very, very good. It's, it, it's no problem at all. But I always find, and I'd like you to comment on this one. This is the third different, no, I've, do, do, yeah, this is the third different top that I've had. And the first beer, even wetting the glass, even holding the beer or the glass on a 45 degree angle, it always produces a quite a big head, which is a little bit of a shame. So comment 
where can I where can I improve things? Apart from that, comment on that if you would. If I could, I don't know, maybe chill the glass. I don't know, I don't know. There's no widget in the bottom. I want to get on with a beer review because I've just, look at this. <laughs> look at that. There's, when I did my unboxing video of this top, there was a lot of people who liked the system and then there was a lot of people who, who didn't understand the system and wouldn't buy one. This is the reason why I'm enjoying it so much. I've worked in a pub on and off. First worked in a bar when I was 19. I was a bar manager when I was 38. And as a bar manager, I've never... In the pubs that I worked in in South Wales, I've never seen a beer look so good from a keg. Really haven't. That is looking sublime, really is. Lovely orange colour, look at the way the beer, look at that, the conditioning on that beer. The carbonation chasing the beer up the glass. We have we have got a three to four finger slightly off white head. I, uh, granted, that's going to happen. We've got a slight haze there. Should we get the aroma? Oh, I want to mention before I get into the beer review, I sound very enthusiastic towards this product. I am by no means, or, or whatever, um, I'm not being supported by Beerwolf, or I'm not being supported by Krups. This is me buying the system, and, and uh, Beerwolf were kind enough to send me a few torps. But as always, I want to make it upfront with you guys, I am always, always as honest as I possibly can be. Or honest as I am with you guys. Aroma. That smells really good. Really hoppy, juicy. Orange peel, a little bit of spice. The malt's coming through nicely. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, the malts, the malts in this beer are incredible. The hops in the beer are incredible. Grapefruity, citrusy, spicy, peppery on the back end, great drinkability, it's got a, a lovely mouthfeel, a lovely creamy rich mouthfeel on the beer. Loads of kind of like toffee malt coming through, biscuit, toffee, spiciness, touch of licorice, like old school IPA, I would say. Almost like West Coast. A real nice bitterness on the back end. Another little tip with you for your torps. If you do decide to go and buy one of these systems, when you do buy your torps, your two litre torps, pop them in the fridge. So I got mine out of the fridge got it into my system. My system doesn't have to work as hard now to cool it down. The fan is going. It will get into temperature. It won't, I'm sure it won't take that long because it's been in the fridge. But if you can hear that humming in the background, that is the machine get, getting it down to temperature. But as I mentioned earlier, being an IPA, a double IPA, I'm not really that concerned if I drink it at three or four degrees. I'm really not that concerned. For me, this is, this is a beer that you don't, I, I would put that, but if I had it in a bottle, 
I'd have it on the back wall. It is the winter here in the UK. I'd have it on the back wall of my kitchen. My back wall of my kitchen is a single skin brick wall. It cools the beer nicely. It's the perfect temperature, how I like my beer. Um, yeah, if I want to drink a beer, review a beer, enjoy a beer, I put it on the back wall two hours before and it gets it down to about seven degrees. That's about for me a really good working temperature for beer because you're pulling an awful lot more of the flavour. I'm going to rate this Gandalf IPA. I like it. I, re I really like this. Beautiful lacing on the glass. Fantastic tasting beer. Really good balance between the sweetness of the malt and the bitterness of the hops on the back end. Little then your, your biscuity, lovely kind of bready malty flavours and then your hoppy finishes on the back end with pepperiness, spiciness, orange peel, some grapefruits, lovely bitterness. It's, it's a really decent beer. This for me, it's an interesting one. It's the highest ABV beer that I've put into my machine. And the machine, as, as I mentioned, that can, that, that can stay in that machine now for about three weeks. It'll keep it conditioned, it'll keep it carbonated for three weeks. So what I'm trying to get at here is I don't have to drink an 8% beer. I don't have to drink four four pints of it tonight just to get rid of it. Um, I can just leave it on the on the side here in my kitchen and have a half every now and again. You'll soon get rid of two litres of, of double IPA, but you don't have to drink it all at the same time. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, I think you'd be flat on your back if you tried drinking four pints of double IPA, 8%. I would anyway. Um, rating. I like this beer enough to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.